Hey everybody, it's Blake with Channel Android. Today I'm going to do a look at Samsung's TouchWiz interface for the tablet and where I can I'm going to try and compare it to the stock Android feel. Uh, first off, let's just look at this. Um, this, is, this is how it comes straight out of the box, at least on the ROM that I've installed on here. Um, this is not an official release so I guess it's possible that we could see some changes so don't take this to mean that this is exactly how it will look on your device once you have your TouchWiz update but first um, notice on the main screen here one thing that's different up top we have the bubbles that tell you which page you are on on the home screen uh, it actually looks just like the TouchWiz interface on the cell phone, nothing like that present on um, stock Android. And then let's take a look down here at the bottom bar. Notice that it is a gray color instead of black. You can see the difference here. It's a little bit lighter. The icons are different. Um, we're using a different font on the clock. But very similar. One thing that you do notice here, we have a different button. That button right there is a screen capture button. It's kind of nice to have screen capture right there and present so easily, but it's also kind of annoying because um, on the stock, when you pull up an application, sometimes the menu button will be right here. And it is there on this one as well, but it's a box looking button. It's easy to hit that screen capture button when you actually are wanting to hit a settings button. So that can be a little obnoxious. Uh, one other thing that Samsung has added, see this little arrow here? If we click it, it will pop up with some of these Samsung apps that they've made. Uh, you got Task Manager, Calendar, World Clock, Pin Memo, Calculator, Music Player, and you know, you just hit it, and they fall back down, and there's our memo app. Um, it's kind of nice to have that there. Um, I think it'd be nicer if there was a little bit more customization with it where you could put the apps that you wanted there and maybe even make it to where you could slide it back and forth. That's what I would do, but what do I know? Then that little arrow button will make it disappear. Okay. One other difference is in the notification area here. Not only does it look different, it's laid out differently. So let's get the stock version pulled up. And notice, well, this is not easy to do. Okay. This is not going to work. Whatever. Here's stock. Let's look at it. Okay. You got your clock, date, network. Uh, battery percentage and then that's just the updates that are popped up there so this is what it is without any notifications you can hit that and it'll reveal some more settings airplane Wi-Fi auto rotate screen brightness turn on notifications turn them off and then you can hit that button to go to settings I actually do like Samsung's layout a little bit better it pops up and it has a quick button type of layout that's similar to what you've probably seen on some phones where you can just turn it on turn it off really easily and you can slide it over to see more options and then there's the settings button what's different in settings well as you can see Samsung has changed the look of what's going on in here uh, there's not anything drastically different that I've really noticed thus far except for a little tab there called motion settings so but we're not going to go into that just yet it's mostly the same things um, so let's look at the widgets that come with TouchWiz we have clock weather it's a picture frame and this is exactly how they're laid out when I installed the ROM the links everything I haven't all I've done I haven't even installed any applications all I've done is set up my accounts uh, we have the AP widget and then we have these 
uh, bookmark widgets which are different from the honeycomb comes with this scrollable and I kind of actually like this better than having one individual launch widget for each bookmark and then we have the email widget which I have you can change right here from combined to hotmail gmail or whatever you've got set up I set up two email accounts whereas the stock email widget is a little I, I, I do like that widget for the uh, email from Samsung that's it for those pages um, we have the social hub widget which is an application developed by Samsung and on this I've got Twitter and Facebook set up um, I think you can also set up LinkedIn I'm not the biggest fan in the world of, uh, of Facebook but it's there and it's kind of a nice widget if you aren't using some kind of other aftermarket application and then this calendar widget is one that was made uh, by Samsung so it's a little bit different than what you get on stock um, then you have the finance widget and then these contact widgets which you could hit and uh, set up single launch contacts hit the plus sign here take a look at what we've got as far as widgets go so like I said this is uh, just what Samsung's got built into this ROM there's the weather widget and the agenda widget which you saw on the front page there um, Amazon MP3 comes on this ROM it's got the stock honeycomb analog clock and you got AP bookmark the stock bookmarks widget like that we saw on the zoom over here books buddies calendar and that's the stock calendar widget which I didn't bother showing you uh, the stock contact widget digital clock I'll throw that over there oh that's the, the same one that's there the dual clock is the one I was thinking of that's a little bit different um, and um, that one is yeah that one's from Samsung I was just making sure then you see the uh, email widget the gallery widget which was on the front page the stock gmail widget which is just like the email widget on honeycomb search latitude market music program monitor which actually I believe is in the newer builds of honeycomb I don't think that's actually a Samsung widget actually maybe it is I can't remember anyway uh, pulse came on the device social hub rate places traffic Yahoo YouTube so it's not a lot there um, it's different it's most of the ones that I've already showed you on the main page and there's that dual clock where you've got the and you can add we'll add Russia whatever there you go so you've seen that um, TouchWiz update also comes with some applications that Samsung has made. You see Social Hub, which ties into the widget that we have here, and it has the notification on top of the icon. And it's asking me to set it up. I'm going to hit later. I've already set up some accounts in the settings menu. And you can see it's. that's all feeds you can take it down to Facebook or Twitter individually and you got messages so it's it's nice it's not mind-blowing but it's nice um, what else do we have let's go to apps um, there's the email icon the camera app is a little bit different from the stock camera app we have Music Hub. Let's get that confirm. I'm not spending a great deal of time looking at this, obviously. So, there you go. Music Hub. 
We have a Samsung App Store. There's not really a use for it, in my opinion. It's very, there's barely anything in it. And it is, you know, between the regular Google Market and the Amazon App Store. Uh, there's, well, I'm not going to bother going any further. There's very little in it. It makes the Amazon App Store look gigantic. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, there's photo editor. And let's see. I did Music Hub. There's another hub on here. Came with Worlds with Friends. Words with Friends, excuse me. Well, um, okay, that's good enough. There's more apps on here. Polaris Office, that's one. I can't remember what else. But, anyway, it comes with a good bit. Uh, we'll look at one last feature that is not a part of stock, and that is the gestures. Uh, let's put this up here. The uh, motion gestures is what I'm referring to. This is not in stock Android. Okay, so here we are. There's channelandroid.com. And you can do this with websites or with photographs. So if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you know, obviously you have the trusty old pinch to zoom. One thing Samsung has built in here is if you put two fingers down and then bring it forward, it'll zoom in. You can take your fingers off and it'll stay where you're at. And if you want to zoom back out, just throw those fingers on there again, pull away, let go, and there it is. It's, it looks cool. I'm not real sure. I mean, considering that you have to have two fingers on the page to get it to activate, I don't know that doing this with two fingers on there is any easier than just going ahead and pulling it. I guess in some cases if you're doing a, a big zoom. I don't know. I haven't really decided how useful that is. But it's there. It's something that they put a little effort into. And I like it. Even though I'm not certain that I'll be using it. So, there you go. Just a quick overview of the uh, tablet version of TouchWiz from Samsung. And, uh, this should be coming out officially shortly. Uh, Samsung has a precedent that they're going to have in a few days on the 3rd of August. And uh, it's going to be dedicated to looking at uh, TouchWiz for tablets. So we'll see how long it is before it starts rolling out officially to everyone who has the Galaxy Tab. Thanks.